asking for a Lebanese accent. I'm not actually Lebanese English. Welcome everybody, welcome. Welcome to Navi versus Ninja in pyjama. This is the Lebanese accent, but uh, I don't want to carry on with it uh, too much. So I will jump straight to Russian accent. Hello everybody, this is FPS Kainite with uh, Counter Strike Global Offensive. We have Nats Vincier, my private, my friends from the Ukraine. Very nice, very good people. And uh, the ninjas in pyjamas, they are from Sweden. I don't like the Swedish players, but we have knife round. I think uh, some of the navy players, they are uh, buying buying the weapon. I'm not quite sure why. I'm going to go. Are they jump? Oh, they've already knifed. They've already knifed. I'm sorry, guys. They seem to have already knifed. So, exist. He's going to pop straight into hot, and there's the first kill of the round for NIP. But Edward is pushed from behind. Did he miss one of the plays? He most certainly did. But Vilschucks, whoever the hell he is, comes around the corner to get not one, but two frags. He's all by himself and easily disposed of by Flyron. Once again, guys, I do apologize. I had no idea the knife round was actually played. Deary me. Dear, oh dear. Uh, <laughs> some people saying they want me to keep doing the Russian accent throughout the game. Uh, no, I don't think that's going to happen, guys. Do Russian for the last round. Update my title. Oh, God, I forgot to update my title. Right, we'll wait for a... Uh, fine. Do I update? I'll update my title now. Bear with me. You're not going to miss out on much. NIP have the weapons and... Well, Navi don't, so NIP are going to win, and you're not going to miss out on much. It's just going to be a simple anti eco. Right, so who have we got? We have NIP versus. What are they called? Versus Navi. Right, that is my title. There was a. Oh, for God's sake. Is the round over with? Uh, oh, holy shit, it's two versus one, and uh, Edward has an AK. Right, let's jump straight into this. Where's Edward? He's making his way down towards secret. This is uh, this has, really hasn't been the best game I've covered, has it? Um, so, oh no, he's going to give away his position by pulling the trigger there. He's picked something up, and uh, by the looks of things, he is going to fall back and save. He's going to stay outside, and that will allow me to change the title. Yeah guys, again there was no sound because people want me to change the title and they were 100% correct and that means I tab out of the game which means no sound. The title has been changed and let's finally focus on the game. So my name is Kaina, welcome to Reason Gaming TV. Remember we are going to have a giveaway of 1000 viewers. This is going to be, unfortunately, the last match that I cover today because I am absolutely knackered. And hopefully we'll finish by 10 o'clock. And the funny thing is, even after I finish, I'm going to have to go downstairs, open my laptop, and start doing some assignments for university. Um, so, yeah, I've pretty much got a non-stop life at the moment. But 2-0, living the dream I am. Sat here casting CSGO for you guys. Of course I'm living the dream. I love you all. So, who is that Ischuk's guy? Someone's telling me. Let's have a look. Actually, no, forget that. My tabbing out is uh, cocking up. Right, and I will focus on the game now. I promise Exist has made his way outside as he nails Edward in the head. Get right with that submachine gun with that PP Bison. You know what? We haven't seen a lot of players use the Bison, but Get Right sure loves it, and he can sure use it well. 3 0 is the score in favor of the Swedes, and now it's men versus men. Navi have the weapons, they've got the grenades. And let's see whether they can put a dent in this NIP attack onto one of the two bomb sites. That's the thing about you. Both bomb sites are slap bang on top of each other, guys. That makes it so tough. But, uh, but oh well. We've seen uh, NIP do it already on this channel earlier on. There's no reason why they can't do it again. The Flaren just challenging one of the Navi players at ramp. Who is Vilchuks? Once again, I've got no idea who he is, and I will look at who he is. Get right pushing in. And at the moment, the CT's blind, the T's are blind, and they're all walking into this farmhouse. He's got a fall back. He throws a flash out. Is fifth Laren going to go to sleep? He is. Down he goes. Is the second frag meant to be? It isn't. Get right returns the frag. Great play from Get right. He expected the CT's to rotate. Zeus made too much noise. 
and the SK Gamer wins over the old 1.6 Navi player. It is three versus two. Seized is a dead man walking. He's calling for a medic. He's only on six HP. And down he goes. It's Guardian against the world. It's Guardian against Get Right. And is Get Right going to get it right? Because in the past few days, he was getting a lot of stuff wrong on Nuke. And where is Mr. Guardian going to go? He used to be absolutely phenomenal in CS Source with his AWP. But he is going to fall back and, well, run off to T-Spawn. Save that M4A1 Brightwater. And let's see whether Ninjas in Pyjamas manage to track him down. Well, I think Freiburg will definitely spot him now. Freiburg's lost his weapon odd reason. Here we go. What's going on here then? Right, the weapons are back, which is always a good sign in Counter-Strike Source. Uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, because without weapons you're pretty much doomed. So, 4 all the score to the Swedes. Uh, what do you guys think the score will be? I'm going to predict a 16-8 in favour of NIP. Let me know what you guys think. But if we really are going to see a 16-8, now we need to start racking the rounds on the board. Seized and Edward, both with Max Evans. The nade's going to come down from outside and exist. We've seen him time after time make his way outside with only that AK-47, but he does it so well. And Fifth Lauren working ramp room as well. He does that to perfection, but Edward wants to put a stop to that, but Freiburg is there to follow him up. But Navi and Seized and Co. have pushed. They've got the man advantage. Forrest wants to put an end to that. As he goes in search of one of these three remaining CTs, he finds one, he spots another. We know what Forrest can do. Is it going to be his moment? Exist comes up, exist with the double, and that is how good NIPR. They're at a man disadvantage, and before you know it, guys, they just turn it around and find themselves back in the lead, and the score is 5-0. So the CTs, well, not just a 4M4 setup, but Guardian has the AWP. You know, I was mentioning Guardian earlier on. He used to be so good with that AWP in CS Source. Let's see if he can carry on that form in towards CSGO here. We know that the terrorists are coming outside, so Guardian will have a lot of food for thought now. He's changing his position repeatedly, trying to avoid all these smokes. But those smokes really, well and truly are a pain in the ass for Guardian. So, it is 4 versus 4 now, thanks to Get Right. As he dropped fist chucks at no Guardian, he can't spot them. He's definitely heard a few of them. He's pulled that AWP shot off. It exists against Guardian, and Guardian wins the battle of AWP versus AK. And now we finally going to see Navi's first round on the board. I think the bomb on the back of Freiburg is, oh no, he's going to take Zeus down, but sees levels things up. It's two versus one, and Freiburg already with two kills. They know he's outside, so seized puts that Molotov down in towards Venn. Seized might catch a glimpse of Freiburg, and that glimpse was all he needed to get the kill. 5-1 is the score. Eat a Snickers, I turn into quite an e-frag when I'm hungry. I like that, I like it. Here we go, so CTs after winning that round, they can afford to buy a course, and the Ts, because the AK-47s are much cheaper than those uh, M4 equivalents of the CTs, NIP can still afford to buy. And the fact that of course NIP won five rounds consecutively, that contributes greatly to uh, NIP's finances. Freiburg, his gun is his gun is still missing, but he's still somehow pulling off absolutely superb shots up against Guardian, and I think he has a hinge on uh, where some more of these Navi players are. Edwards playing outside, but Forrest with the AWP shot, and early on we saw Forrest use the AWP shot, for, uh, the uh, AWP from time to time, and he uses it so well. Many say Forrest is the best player in CS history. Let me know what you guys think. Vilchuk returns the kill. Forrest once again. Forrest with the headshot. And it's not <laughs> the first time we see him do that. We saw him do it early on. Right on top of red from the same position. Three versus one. It's Vilchuk all by himself. And the commentator's curse most certainly kicks in and puts him to sleep. And the score is 6-1 in favour 
of the Swedes. People saying Forest was the best in 1.6. I agree, he was brilliant. I never played 1.6 that much, but he was always a joy to watch. And if you ask me, I think he's one of the best in CSGO. Don't know if he is the best. Let me know who you guys think is the best in CSGO. So, Freiburg at mid. His gun is still nowhere to be found, but hey ho, if he can get kills with absolutely nothing, that's fine by me. Maybe when he loses that weapon and picks up another one, it might uh, make his uh, weapon model appear once again. So the CT Navi, I think they really want to try and get this round over and done with. They're not wasting any time whatsoever. Literally walking into the crosshair of Freiburg, of Freiburg's pretty much non-existent weapon. And Guardian is all by himself. He's got the P2000. Boom! Headshot from Forrest. 7-1 is the score. And I was talking about this a few days ago. NIP, well, even talking about it a few hours ago, in fact. NIP are just ridiculously good on nuke. What do you guys think is the reason as to why they're so good on nuke? Do you think they practice nuke more than others? Uh, do you think it's their 1.6 related experience? But then again, Fifth Flower and um, Freiburg, as far as my memory serves me correct, are both ex source plays. So why do you guys think NIP are well and truly so good at nuke? So Freiburg and his non existent weapon are trying to challenge. The CT player at ramp, who is Vilchuks, he only has a FAMAS, and he's not going to last long. Fifth Lara and the man who's come under so much scrutiny after his EMS Katowice display is proving the haters wrong, and that bomb surely will go down on the lower bomb site sometime soon. Four versus five. Fifth Lara prepares in his position. Freiburg goes in search of the kill, and he most certainly gets it. And that Molotov will uh, ensure that NIP have barbecued Navi tonight. Get right with two. Guardian all alone, on his own. They're looking for him. And they find him. And your score is 8-1. <laughs> Some people say NIP too much practice. Fair enough. And again, they do uh, pretty much do uh, you know play CS:GO for a living. Pretty much safe to say, if uh, <laughs> any of us could play CS:GO for a living, we probably wouldn't turn it down. So here we go. CT's being forced to deco once again, and because they can't get, they didn't win the pistol round, and they can't pull together a few consecutive rounds, they are being forced to deco time after time again. They need to win a buy round and win the next round after that to realistically stand a chance of making their way back in towards this game because at the moment NIP are teaching Navi an absolute nuke masterclass so they do have those CZ75 autos which is so good but the question is can Navi put them to good use at the moment they are Freiburg comes around the corner again with that non-existent AK he will get the double and seized all by himself on the upper bomb site. And where are you, Mr. Guardian? He's also on the upper bomb site. So NIP, of course, they'll either drop down or they'll plant on the upper bomb site. But you know what, guys? I don't fancy Navi. They've got these tiny pistols up against the AK 47s of NIP. And NIP's bank is so full of money at the moment that I can't see any way back into it. Uh, ba yeah, back, in, back into it for, uh, for, for Navi. Uh, Guardian. He got an exit frag. That'll give him an extra $300, I believe it is. Or actually, no. Now it differs depending on the gun. So I'm not quite sure how much extra money it gives him. But that extra money, I don't think, will go a long way. We can see Navi, they've bought up. They still ha don't have much money to spare. That's the problem. Look at NIP's finances, guys. 12,000, 12,800, 12,650. It is money, money, money at the moment for them. They are rolling in the cash and uh, rolling in the rounds as it is. Nine rounds on T-side nuke is absolutely phenomenal for, uh, for, for any T-side. And that's the thing about NIP. They are so good on nuke. They've set themselves that level. They don't accept anything less than 15 rounds when playing on T-side nuke. But Navi Guardian wants to put an end to that. He wants Navi to pull a run of rounds together. And are they going to manage to do it thanks to his help? Edward's playing Raptors. He spots Freiburg. It's Edward versus Freiburg. And uh, there we go. Surely get right. Won't pull this one off well. 
He's looking to prove me wrong now, isn't he? He's got that bomb down. No, he's put, got the Molotov down into heaven. And he needs to still pick up the bomb. He's ever so close. Oh, he will put it off. And surely not. Get right with 47 seconds to play around with this. He's got plenty of time. But no, there is a hole in Squeaky. There's a hole in the Squeaky door. And now Get right finds himself in one heck of a predicament. If he peeks, he will go down. Is that CT? Yeah, that CT knows he's there. Oh, there it is. So unlucky from Get Right. I think they both knew each other were there. And Get Right thought, right, 20 seconds to go. I've got to get my trainers on. I've got to get a move on. And Reveal's Chucks had spotted him. Uh, absolutely brilliant CS from both teams. Um, but especially NIP. With regards to someone asking about Steam Policy, I've got no idea what Steam Policy is. And uh, Darwin, I will check your proposition in the email after this match. So don't, don't leave the stream because I'll chat to you about it. So here we go. And uh, NIP, we said how much money they had. And that's why they can afford AKs once again. Forrest, we saw him utilize that AWP earlier on in the game. He hasn't gone for it this time. They've gone for the uh, for, for the five-man AK setup, which is, of course, now only a four-man AK setup. Because Biff Lyron hit the floor and he is no longer with us, unfortunately. Oh, look at this. Hello, Zeus coming from behind and uh, taking out Get Right, and Get Right is such an important player for NIP that could turn out to be the difference. So where are these pesky little counter-terrorists? Edward is near ramp room and he, oh no, Freiburg disposes of him. Two versus two, HP-wise, it's looking good for Navi, but NIP are capable of things which are absolutely out of this world, that's how good they are. But take nothing away from Navi, they're a top team as well. The mods of goes in, Forrest is making a lot of noise, and I think the CTs know he's there as he tries to march into one of these bomb sites. Sees is playing Super Mario in the vent, out comes Bill Chucks and delivers the goods. And your score is 9 3. So, Navi, they've finally got an AWP in hand, and it's quite interesting actually that Seized has opted to AWP rather than rather than Guardian. So let's see when he manages to pull out the bag using it. He's in an awkward position, but hello, Navi uh, of Red Na uh, NIP, sorry, of Red Navi like an open book. They've charged into this ramp area and they are taking full control of this B bomb site as they prepare to disperse these smokes onto the bomb site. But Zeus is hiding in the corner with that Falas. He will take down two. Beautiful counter strike from Zeus and Fifth Lyrid of Forest now. The only T's left for the uh, NIP team for the Swedes. Forest with the AWP and surely he's not going to go for this. Oh, you know what guys, he is. Forrest, he will make noise and they'll know he's there after that nade goes in. Surely, yep, he's going to get one. That's two from Forrest and he's only got one more to deal with. And I don't know how he pulls it off, but he is just annihilating Navi at the moment. He's got two kills. He's got a lot of health. He's got that AVP. He's going to pop out. He's going in search of Zeus. He's going to throw that flash. And there we have it. Forrest with the three versus one. Wow. That's how good he is. Absolutely slaying all three of the Ukrainians. And Forrest, someone said he was the best ever CS 1.6 player. And I think he read your comment and he's proving to you why he thinks he is the best CSGO player in existence at the moment. 10-3 is the score. So, obviously losing that clutch round, that would have been such an important round for Navi to get on the board. Here we go. It means they're forced to deco and exist. Makes Zeus look like an absolute amateur at the game. Fifth flyer and two kills before falling to his death. And surely now Freiburg will run around with his invisible AK. Forrest comes in with that lovely CZ75. Shooting in midair. That's how good he is. That's how solid these Swedes are. And you do have to wonder. I'm got a second. Let have on the oh no, it's 14 rounds. We've got one more round left to go. You do have to wonder. After watching NIP play like this, you just have to wonder if NIP perfected all their other maps as good as they are on Nuke, 
surely the next dream hack has to go to them. Virtus Pro won Katowice. Uh, Fnatic won the one in, during the winter. Surely NIP are going to be absolutely craving to get one of those DreamHack titles under their belt. Especially when you consider the amount of titles their players won in previous games like CS 1.6, CS Source for 5th Lyon and Freiburg. But it looks like this round belongs to Navi, to the Ukrainians. They bought up everything they could. Seize even has a shotgun that Zeus. Is he making too much noise? Not at all. 5th Lyon couldn't hear him. And Freiburg is all by himself. Could you can you even spam through there? I had no idea you could even do that. He's going to lob that grenade there. And he's going to use that smoke to his advantage. He's only on 16 HP. Are we going to have a dead Freiburg? Or are we going to see um, a barbecue Navi? C says, nope. I'm just going to play cool, calm, collective. Wait for the fire to go out. And there we have it. 11-4. And if NIP win this pistol round, guys, then if you're a Navi fan, I've got bad news for you. Right, I'm not... Can you guys hear me? Has the GoTV gone down, or is it my internet? Let me test out Google. No, my internet's working fine, so it seems like we have a GoTV problem, guys. Um, I apologize for that. And we'll try to jump right back into it. Here we go. All oh, right. Okay. Good. Um, what's happening here? Okay. Yeah, we're going live. Good stuff. Good stuff. So it's the pistol round with NIP and Natus Vincere. So, like, whenever someone mentions Navi to me, I just uh, imagine Zero Gravity. I think it's called Zero Gravity. Just standing behind Markalov and all them lot at line. That was really like proper hedge bloke. But anyway, seized. It looks like they're going to go all in towards this upper bomb site. Freiburg in the right position. In the right. No, Freiburg somehow almost nading himself. Is he going to drop Zeus? He does. Beautiful USP shooting from that man himself, from Freiburg. Fifth Laren pops around the back. And NIP have this on absolute lockdown. Annihilating every Ukrainian coming their way. And at the moment, it's Sweden 12, Ukraine 4. My blocked nose is starting to uh, to gather in my nostrils. But it doesn't matter, guys. On paper, you should now expect NIP to win this round with ease. I mean, NIP have looked so comfortable on a CT side map on T side. You, you really wouldn't expect Navi to take this deco round up against them. So let's wait and see. Exist using that brilliant P90. And NIP look like they're playing in their sleep at the moment. That's how easy they make it look. They're, oh, Freiburg! Freiburg, 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 Freiburg. <laughs> Absolutely world class. Forest will surely dispose of Zeus. 13 4 is the score. And Freiburg, that quick 90 degree turn. How does he do it? So quick, his reflexes. And that is why NIP are as good as they are. Someone said they practice way too much. But you know what, mate? If practice makes perfect. And, Fry and it means he can pull off shots like Freiburg, then why not? Because he is an absolute tank at the moment. Let's take a look at the scoreboard to emphasize that. 23 kills, guys, and 8 deaths. Have a look at that. He is tanking Navi at the moment. As for Edward, not doing too well with 5 kills. And when you compare the 23 kills of NIP of the 5 kills of Edward, you know, you do have to ask questions of the Ukrainians. So here we go. It's 4 versus 4. The T's have gone for the AK buy-ups. Buy and <laughs> Freiburg, he got a hat-trick in the last round. Surely not, Freiburg. Surely not, but seized. Wow, he's on 7 HP. He managed to drop him, but Exist will drop Vilchuk's instead. 3 versus 2. And I think we're going to see 14-4 here. Forrest has heard me. Forrest wants to confirm that. He says, thank you very much. I'll go in search of this last terrorist who does have the bomb. Hang on a second. He does have the bomb. He's outside. Someone has heard him. And he will have heard that CT go to his left. He's got one to his right. One to his left. Sees is stuck in the middle. But Fifth Lyron will get the kill. And we are at 14-4. And uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this was always in the bag? Or do you guys really realistically expect Navi to be doing better against the likes of NIP? Let me know in the chat. Because uh, 
I think I predicted 16-8. There's still time for Navi to pull it back to about eight rounds, but I think 16-4 would be somewhat of a uh, of a large disappointment to a lot of us, uh, especially if you're a Ukrainian Navi fan. So, here goes nothing. The uh, CTs, that's how confident NIP are, guys. They, they've still got those pharmacies in hand, especially Forrest. He's out of this world at the moment. He's most certainly in form. And NIP tearing Navi to absolute shreds. Forrest come round the side. Boom headshot from him. It is match point. And it's not even fun to cast anymore. Ninjas in pyjamas, they're so dominant. And when you watch them play like this, guys, you really do have to wonder how these lot haven't won a dream hack yet fair enough they finish second uh dream hack winter and they finish second uh katavitsa uh oh wait a second katavitsa's in a dream hack katavitsa is an intel extreme master dear me who cares about big csgo tournaments and you do have to wonder how nip haven't won one of these massive mini tournaments just yet and um, someone was mentioning i believe after katavitsa that they are one of the most consistent teams even though they you know kept finishing second and I do agree with that because we saw Virtus Pro pretty much dominate a certain point after winning Katowice and during Katowice we saw Fnatic dominate for a small point after they won Dreamhack Winter but NIP have always remained so consistent and now people wanted the Russian accent for the last round and there is the kill for Navi for Natas Vincier Freiburg will come he will shoot he will pull the trigger but it is 16-5 or 16-4 I think 16-4 it doesn't matter it is GG here is the Russian accent and there